It always happens. Filipinos love to wait until the proverbial last minute to get what's needed. Be it the RFIDs for expressways, register for polls, or, in the case of PUV operators, the new fare matrix. On the weekend before new fares were to take effect, and even on the day itself, Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board offices were deluged by PUV operators seeking to get the new fare matrix. PUVs need to get the matrix in order to charge the higher fares taking effect on October 3. Without the matrix, PUVs will be fined from 5,000 to 15,000 pesos for charging the new fares. The LTFRB expected last-minute applicants for the fare matrix and open shop on the weekend before October 3 to accept applications. The LTFRB had started urging PUV operators to submit requirements for getting the new fare matrix at least two weeks before the new fares were to take effect. The LTFRB reported that only 10% of the 260,000 PUV units were issued the new fare matrix at the end of Monday, October 3. PUV operators are complaining of the tedious process for getting the new fare matrix, which included, among other requirements, the payment of 520 peso processing fee and 50 pesos for each copy of the fare matrix. Also required are the presentation of the units or CR, the submission of a copy of a provisional authority or certificate of public convenience, and proof that the CPC went through the verification process. Many are asking, is there really a need for every PUV unit to get a new fare matrix? Can't the LTFRB just print out copies and distribute them for free to PUVs in respective routes? 